Hey guys, it's Heather, the Crochet Witch, and I have a video that is not a Vlogtober video, if you can believe that. There will be a, blog, a Vlogtober video um, in the morning, basically. Um, you know, when it's supposed to be. I don't know when it is you'll be seeing this one. Hopefully you're seeing this one. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so today I thought we could talk about knit crate. Um, like what I can show, I want to show you the yarns that I've collected in basically a year's worth of knit crating. And, um, let's talk about the fact that I have done nothing with them yet, except for one, which, um, I'll show you later. I won't show you probably in this video. I will probably show you in Vlogtober because it's not dry guess which one it was. <laughs> yeah, I dyed my yarn from the bear kit. I dyed it. And I'm pretty proud of it, I gotta say. <laughs> and we'll see how it turns out when it's dry and all that. But anyway, um, so I just thought I'd go through, like, I'm about to put these, like, on a shelf, put them away. Um, meaning they've basically, and I don't know if you guys have done this um, also, but <laughs> basically, I've, I've got them. I've reviewed them. I've loved them. I've loved on them and squeezed them and petted them and made plans for them. And then they've sat there. So I'm getting them out of their boxes and someplace where I can actually see them and someplace where I will actually work with them. Because um, especially now that Knit Crate is starting that uh, eco-friendly, like I am... I'm all about that. I'm so all about that. So now that they're doing that, um, I really would like to stick with them, but I can't justify doing that unless I find something to do with the yarn that I've already gotten from them. So while they provide lots of patterns for whether you're a knitter or a crocheter or both, um, and some of them, like I'm thinking heavily about doing, but maybe not with this yarn. Like, this shawl is stunning. And I, I probably will be doing that. Maybe not with this yarn. Or, because, like, I like big, big shawls. Maybe um, with a mixture of, like, a, if there's yarn in this pile that I'm about to show you that goes together, maybe that's what I'll do with it. But I figured every now and then I would do a little segment, um, like, Let's Talk Knit Crate or whatever. And, uh just share like what I've done with which knit crate yarn instead of just what I plan to do with it. And maybe that will, um, do a couple of things that will get me going on actually using this yarn. And that might inspire you guys to, uh, work through some of yours or to get it and have an actual purpose for it. So let's, let's try this out. How about that? Um, I just kind of took all the boxes and plopped the yarn down and I wish now I had uh, sorted through which ones were first and such, but I'm going to start where I think I was. It really doesn't matter. I'm just kind of showing you at the moment, but um, in the beginning <laughs> I got the surprise me box and it seemed like every month was the cool tones, the chill out box. And like, while that's fine, and sometimes I actually go in, like now that I've learned how to change my um, membership options, each month I can get different ones, like however I want, I can, if I'm like, oh, I really like the, the red, the warm tone in the preview, I switch it to the energize me. Or like, if I really like the natural, which is usually me, I switch between those two, the energize me and the natural a lot, but the chill out is nice too. Um, but either way, if I'm like, oh, the natural's good this month, I'm going to switch to that. So I've learned to do that and to actually watch for the emails and and uh, pick which one I think I want and uh, hope it looks like the pictures. So there's that that you can do. And Knit Crate puts out a video to show you how to do it. Um, if I remember, I'll try to link that down below. If I can find it. It's been a while because now I remember how to do it. <laughs> If I don't remember and you guys don't know, I'll try to go over it with you uh, in another video probably. Like, I'll try to go over it in the next segment of this Let's Talk Knit Crate yarns. <clears throat> but 
Um, this is the first set that I got, which is really pretty, really pretty, and really soft. Um, these are Knitology Glowing Worsted. So it's worsted weight yarn, which I mean, you can kind of tell by looking at it, kind of. Um, the colorway on this is called C. And it is a 40% superwash merino, a 30% silk, and a 30% alpaca. 150 yards in each one of these. Suggested needle size is 8 to 10, which is a 5 to 6 millimeter. Assumably that's knitting. <laughs> Needle, duh. Anyway, um, so this is one that I got, and I am going to attempt to start like a worsted weight pile and then a different weights pile. Let's see if I can accomplish that. Um, one of the next ones that I got was this really pretty, they're like two different like variegated yarns of the same type though. Um, these were when they collaborated with Brooklyn Boy Knits and it says Knitology Worsted also. So here's for the worsted pile and it's blue. Um, this is a hundred percent superwash merino. Suggested needle size are eight to 10. There's uh, 225 yards in each one of these guys. This colorway with all the blues is called Empire. And this colorway that has the splash of purples and grays is called Royal Court. So I have one of each of these to go, not necessarily with, but I mean to go with these in the worsted weight division. Those together might make something pretty though too. And they're, um, they've all got merino in them. Um, then I got... This Vitalata, Vitalata, Vitalana yarn. This was, I'm um, pretty sure, the December box from last year. And I got this really pretty green color. Um, this is Vitalana Lofty DK. This is chain spun, by the way. It's 48% merino, 20% baby alpaca, and 32% organic cotton. And the colorway is mistletoe. I'm guessing the cotton is probably the white that is spun through here. But it is this really, really, really pretty green color. And let me see if I can show you the chain spinning on this. See, it's chain spun. And it says it's a DK, but it is definitely the same size as this worsted. The thing with... Um, I don't know if it's all chain spun, but I think it is. The thing obviously with this one is it's chain spun is a little springier. So when you crochet or knit with it, it tightens up a little bit. And um, that's, it's going to be like a little bit of a smaller weight yarn from my experience anyway. Maybe it's because I'm a tight crocheter, but so this probably won't go with the worsted weights and it's not even the right colorway, but so there's another color option. And then, let's see. This was a favorite. This is when uh, Knit Crate collaborated with Creative Grandma to get this pretty speckled colored yarn. Um, which is from Audine Wools. And there's Creative Grandma's logo. Cool. Um, this colorway is Flirt. It's an 80% superwash merino. 20% tensile. That makes 100, Heather. <laughs> I was reading for the third ingredient. Um, this is, it says this is a sport weight yarn, and the suggested needle size is a 2 to 4. This would make a really pretty, like, shawlette, probably, I'm thinking. I'm a, I'm like a big, like, shawl person, though, so if you have any suggestions, Pass them my way, please. <laughs> but that is like in a pile on its own right now. And then, let's see. Speaking of the chain spun, at some point I got this really beautiful orange that is like a chain spun. This, uh, this was a more recent one. This is called Pigment, and this is from Audine Wools in Inter Interlock. That's what it's called. Get it? Chain spun? Interlock? Um, this is really soft considering, uh, it's 34% cotton, 
35% linen, 19% lyocell, and 11% nylon. There is 351 yards in here. You can, let me see. Can you see the chain? Is there a chain spun in that? It's a really, really, really pretty orange, soft orange. Um, I'm thinking cowl. I'm not positive. Let's see what else we have. Oh, if I didn't mention um, in the Creative Grandma's colorway, the flirt colorway, there is uh, 350 yards in each one of these babies. And then in the mistletoe, there is 274 yards in each one of these. And then while we're looking at orange ones, I had also gotten this really pretty orange called Bliss. There we go. <laughs> And it is pretty similar. It's slightly lighter than this one, and obviously it's not chain spun. Um, Bliss is from Audine Wools also. It is 55% fine merino wool, 30% baby alpaca, and 15% mulberry silk. And there are 220 yards in this one, in each one of these. So about 440 yards. I'd like to find something to mix this with just because um, it doesn't say on here. I just realized it doesn't say on here if this is like a three weight or to me, it looks like a three weight yarn. Let me. That looks like a three weight to me because this is just about a. Um, Mandela, like a Lion Brand Mandela thickness. So we have to figure out something to do with these guys. Any suggestions? It's very, very soft. Very soft. Um, like a lot of these, and this is probably the problem you guys are running into, is that um, I'm used to working with um, acrylic, red heart, um, some wool in like scarfy and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm not used to hanked up beautiful. I like it. I love it, but I want to use it and I want to figure out something nice to use it with. Um, I think I had suggested too the new, uh, yarn that's at Hobby Lobby. They have like hand dyed and hand painted yarns that actually come in hanks too. And I think some of those would pair up really nicely with some of these yarns, but it's, you'd have to search and see which ones you like and want to match up with. But that's just a suggestion to add another color or yardage wise to make something bigger. Um, the next thing I had gotten was this really pretty like purpley wine color. And this is a Vitalana yarn. Um, it's called Linen Jewel. It is a 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, 20% silk. Um, this is a fingering weight yarn with 400 yards per skein. So fingering weight in this really pretty purple. And we have, what, about 800 yards to make something with. That's so pretty. Um... Then there is this really pretty pink. It's like a dark pink kind of color. Um, that is a Uru yarn. Okay, I call this Uru yarn. I heard um, Charmed Grammy Crochet. Uh, she called this U U-R-U, -U, which makes sense too. But I don't know if it's U-R-U -U yarn or if it's Uru yarn. If anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> Um, this colorway, okay, Uru or URU yarn, uh, Cotton Basic is the name of this, and 
the colorway is Hustle, and this is 100% organic Pima cotton. It's a DK weight with 226 yards per skein. So 226 yards for, or 266 yards, sorry, which makes it over 500 yards of Pima cotton. Organic Pima cotton. So you're not going to make like, I mean, you could, I suppose, but you're probably not going to make, I probably won't make washcloths or dishcloths with this, um, but something nice. Any ideas? with about 500, just over 500 yards. And one of my favorites, um, this is called Sugar Sport, also from Oru or URU Yarns. Um, this colorway, this was from the Natural Colorway, and can you see the sparkles in that? I hope that you can. There we go. How beautiful is that yarn? Um, this is also a sport weight yarn. It is 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% stellina, which is that pretty sparkle shine. Um, there are 300 yards per skein. So 600 yards of this absolutely beautiful sport weight yarn. I don't know. Maybe that could be paired with something else or I don't know. I don't have another shiny one as of yet, but it's beautiful and I love it. I'm thinking again, like a shawlette or a cowl. We'll see. And, um, second to last, this is one of my favorites is, um, this, La, La Brebis, La Brebi yarn. Come on, don't wash out. There we go. La Brebi. Um, the colorway in this is chestnut, and this is La Brebi light alpaca. It is 100% baby alpaca, fingering weight yarn. There's 400 yards per skein. So 800 yards of this beautiful fingering weight yarn. Did I say this was fingering weight too? This is sport weight. I have another fingering weight. Was it you? This is also fingering weight. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? This is baby alpaca. This is superwash merino linen and silk though. But those are both fingering weight yarns. Uh, this, I was considering, if I get around to it, pairing it with, like, my prized, um, we were just talking about how much I love Stranger Things, and this is one hank that I cannot seem to get any more of, uh, inspired by Stranger Things yarn, which, this is a 100% superwash, and it's 400 yards also, um, this is called Welcome to Hawkins. And like, I am just in awe of the, like, it's not only inspired by my favorite show ever, but it is one of the most beautifully dyed hanks of yarn I've ever seen in my life. Like, I love this so much. Um, I considered maybe if they go together well, putting these together. I don't know what you guys think about that. Um, there's 400 yards in both of these, and I think these are both fingering weight yarn. It doesn't actually say on the Welcome to Hawkins. But there's 100 grams, and there's 400 yards, and this is also 100 grams and 400 yards. Anyway, so I thought about using that with my most prized possession back there. But this is uh, another, and this is so soft, you guys. So soft. And then the last um, yarn you guys have most recently seen me open for Knit Crate is the Shiraz in the City is the name of the colorway. And it's another <laughs> Uru 
You are you yarn. Um, this is 80% merino, 18% Peruvian Pima cotton, and it's a super bulky, and it's only 109 yards per 100 grams. Because look how thick it is. <laughs> but this is like, I said this before, and I still mean it, and it is literally like a charcoal gray cloud. Like, this is 100% going to be a cowl. I just don't know how big the cowl is going to be, whether it's going to be like a little neck cowl or whether it's going to be the kind that can kind of put up over my ears and stuff. I'll figure it out, but that's what this is 100% going to be, and I will show you guys as soon as I make it. I have two of these. There's one sitting right here also. <laughs> but there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And it's like holding a cloud too, you guys. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you. I wasn't going to. It's not dry, but I'm going to show you the yarn that I did dye uh, from the bear a while back when we got the bear kit. One moment, please. You guys ready? Here is my hand dyed yarn that I have to come up with a name for it, but I definitely want it to be something Halloween-ish. And it's got like a speckle of purple at the top. And it's got this ombre orange at the bottom that is still quite wet. So I'm going to go hang it back up now. But yeah, I'm in love with that yarn. And there will be better pictures. There'll be better pictures on Instagram, I promise. But um, oh, I love that yarn. And that is Superwash Moreno, I think. I have to, oh wait, I think I have the card thing here that tells what it is under this pile of yarn that I've put on top of it. Um, this is when we got the, that was when we got the May 2020 blank canvas yarn. And the yarn info was, uh, it's 75% merino and 25% nylon. There's 415 yards in each one of those. So there's two hanks, uh, unhanked over there. Um, which is a hundred grams each. Unless, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think all the Knit Crate yarns, like each hank is a hundred grams. So like, depending on the weight is really how much you end up getting yardage wise. Um, so there's my, there's my yarn that'll all be like together somewhere. And, um, yeah. So just suggestions on one thing I'm not going to do with it. I was pulling out the extras that I got. Like, so like there's like, um, one month we got the knit toppers, this knit stitch savers. Um, one month we got the Tunisian crochet hook. Uh, the month with creative grandmas, we got this really pretty button. Um, we've gotten stitch markers. We've gotten a little logo pin. The month with the bear yarn, we got this little notebook of uh, post-its that comes in a cute little smiley face. Um, we've gotten a packet of yarn soak. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Mm, still shiny. <laughs> still getting used to this light. <laughs> We've gotten uh, pins before. And then my least favorite thing ever, Knit Crate. We had to have a discussion about this one. The mini hat. I still haven't found a use for this. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. They don't have to give us anything. So I'm really not complaining much but I still don't understand this. <laughs> um, so that being said, those are all my yarns. And um, in future episodes, like I said, I will say, say I find something that I do with this. And I'll be like, hey, remember when I showed you guys this? 
well, here's what I did with it. And I will, um, show you guys like the, I'll link the patterns and whatnot. And, um, hopefully we can start getting inspired to go through our knit crate yarns and do stuff with them besides looking at really pretty yarns. So that being said, I'm going to let you guys go for this video, but I hope that you, um, I hope it got you thinking, I guess, and like, um, inspire to try stuff with yours and maybe mix them up or mix them with other yarns, um, or just maybe got the gears rolling on what kind of patterns you might want to do with them. Um, and if I did, if I did that for you, please suggest them to me, <laughs> like I said. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can work our way through this. Cause I'd really like to stay with them now that like every envelope, every package that they send out, uh, in the eco-friendly stuff is a tree planted for a good cause. And, um, I'm so all about all of that. So yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can stick with Knit Crate. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to end this before I just start babbling on. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. I love you guys. Bye.